it is by all means extremely difficult position to find yourself at as a prime minister in your first tenure. There are prime ministers in Europe who are now serving third or even fourth um, tenure term. And Albin Kurti is one of those uh, politicians who won the elections and found himself in the uh, uh, in 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 the in the middle of of um, very very complex and complicated political situation, which is getting because of of Russian war in Ukraine even more complex on a global scene. So, what and how can one judge? politician in such a complex domino game, first of all, to see how he combines operational, tactical, and strategic steps. When he engaged in this bickering and in this um, quite important administrative issue about license plates coming in Kosovo from Serbia and wanting to stop it, um, was importantly important enough to to make a point out of it but making of it a problem that can lead to escalation of 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 uh, conflict to violence is completely different issue then you have to think very very strategically and you have to think on a longer term and why is it important to stress because uh, Escalating and and concentrating the complexity of Kosovo-Serbian relationship to this one issue, and the consequences that had with Serbs walking out from many institutions, actually was a, a quite a, a tricky to watch and to listen because we know that the predecessor government of his spent many many years uh, creating the negotiating position towards Serbia, but also towards Quinta and international community, countries that are very essential in, in this process, by involving and doing everything to include Serb representatives at, el, at every level of, of Kosovo governance. And this short escalation actually uh, critically undermine this process. Why was it important? Because Serbs in Serbia again had an argument to say, well, Kosovo is not our state. Look, we do not have representatives there. And believe me, internationals listen to such arguments because internationals are never going to, to be drawn in situation when they support one side and ignore the interests of the of the other side. So that was quite an interesting and tricky position that where he had to juggle between operational, tactical, and strategic issues. And he, he did what he did. Um, escalation was um, uh, um, it, it did not happen. And what he also did, he showed wisdom then he actually agreed to yet another postponement uh, of cancellation of, of Serbian uh, um, uh, um, car um, registrations. So it showed again that it needed, Kosovo side is pragmatic enough not to escalate situation and to again be the party who will be first to go to negotiating table. And that's a good position to be because let Serbs um, come up again with their extremist demands, which are not there to please and help Serbian people in Serbia, but actually they are there to obstruct the process where both states were going to be treated equally by international, um, uh, uh, um, by international community and international mediators. And for Kosovo and Mentioning US is very important, but also for Kosovo generally, Kurti nor any other prime minister in Kosovo can afford to make decisions one-sidedly, which can lead to escalation because Kosovo as de facto state cannot 
survive, cannot have the support it has been having almost 30 years now without support of very important international players, most of them representing Western democracies.